Okay, just to test um, your understanding of, of creating the five number summary and drawing a box and whisker plot, why don't you go ahead and copy down this problem, go ahead and create the five number summary and the box and whisker plot, and then when you're ready, well, obviously pause the video, when you're ready, unpause, and let's see if uh, yours, your graph came out correct, and then we'll answer some questions. Okay, so accept that my number line is kind of uh, funky. This is what your box and whisker plot should have looked like. Your minimum was 10. Q1 was 18. Q2, or the median, was 24. Q3 was 26, and then your maximum was 30. Um, so just real quickly, if you did not get those correctly, let's talk about, um, let's talk about how that worked out. So let me just temporarily kind of shrink that and move to the side so I've got some space to work. So remember that you have to put, well, the numbers were already in order for you. So um, when I'm calculating the box and whisker plot and the five number summary, let me go ahead and write them down. So I've got them spaced out. 24, 25, 26, 26, 29, and 30. So the first thing you do always is you find the median of the entire list. You find Q2, in other words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There were 11 numbers. So I do have a middle one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 24. I guess I knew that already. 24 is my median. That means that's Q2. So now that means 10 through 20. That's my lower half. And the median... The middle number, there are five numbers here, the middle one is 18. So 18 is the median of the lower half, that makes it Q1. The upper half is from 25 to 30. Remember, you never include the median in the lower or the upper half. Um, if you had an even number, remember the median is not one of your data items, so everything is included, but now that our median is one of our numbers, it's not included. So I have five numbers. 26 is the middle one. That makes that Q3. And then you have your minimum and your max. That's where those numbers came from. Okay, now let's go back to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. If you don't have it copied down yet, obviously pause the video and then um, go forward. Let's see. Let me... I'm sorry for all that dead time there. Okay, now I've got some questions that I want you to answer. So pause the video, answer those questions, and then come back and let's look at the responses. Okay, first things first, there's a typo here, but rather than upload an entire new set, I'm just going to fill that in. So the first question was, what percent of the data fell between 24 and 30? Remember that the beauty of the box and whisker plot is that it separates your entire list of data into quartiles or quarters four sections. 25% is between 10 and 18, 25 between 18 and 24. That means 25% is squeezed in there between 24 and 26. And then you've got your last one. So that's what you use to answer these. So for number one, it was 50% because they wanted to know what percent went from 24 to 30. That's two of the sections, so that's 50%. Same thing for, um, same type question from 18 to 24, that's 25%. From 10 over to 26, that was three of those sections, so that's 75% of the data. And the last one wanted the interquartile range. That means it wants to know how many numbers, how many um, data items are within that box of the box, box and whisker plot. So it's basically Q3 minus Q1, and so your interquartile range was 8.